Welcome to the second video in the quest to find the best hitting drill of the year. Just as with regular hitting, constructive feedback is necessary when performing drills to know when the baseball swing is correct. The best feedback comes from setting the tee at the knees and right down the middle of home plate or at the top of the strike zone, rather than setting the tee at thigh or waist high. On the low middle of the plate pitch, line drives directly back through the middle as marked by the hanging glove is the desired result and on the high tee line drives with backspin or line long fly balls are best. Before getting to this week's competition pitting four grade hip turn drills against each other controversy still swirls over last week's hand and forearm development drills. Two great drills for hand development filed an inquiry as to why they were not included. The hitting on the knee drill and the glove under both arms have a right to be upset as they are both very good drills for developing hand strength, but were deemed too similar to a couple of drills that made the field. They will have to wait until next year when the tourney field may be expanded to more hitting drills. The following hip turn drills are all excellent, and this hip turn bracket contain the most talented drills of all the brackets. The first major upset of the tourney occurred when the number four seeded 1-2-3 drill outlasted the fast knee drill. The fast knee drill is outstanding for helping kids stay back and drive the back knee to the ball, all the while keeping the whole backside connected. However, the one, preparation and soft stride, two, break of the back knee with hands back, and three, a complete finish of the swing one out because it teaches so many aspects of hitting. Many kids want to step and swing together or begin their swing without using their lower half. This drill puts each stage of hitting in slow motion, so to speak, and forces hitters to stay back and begin to turn before swinging the bat. Additionally, it helps hitters keep their hands back in good hitting position as well as a complete hip turn accomplished by finishing the swing all the way to the middle of their back and the reason it is in the hip turn bracket. The other matchup went into overtime but ultimately the back knee kick through drill wins out because it can be done for all pitches high and low and with regular batting practice. Additionally this drill forces hitters to use their front side which is usually a batter's weak side as that is the only way to pick up the back foot. The t drop knee drill, or the Adrian Beltre, because of his World Series home run in this manner, is only for pitches at knee level, even though it is great for steadying the batter's head as well as guaranteeing a rotation of the backside. In the finals of the hip turn drill bracket, the four seed, the one two three drill, steamrolled into the final four because of all the benefits listed above. The back knee drill faded in the end because many hitters have, have developed a tendency to jump at the ball and not get their knee all the way forward, which is mandatory for the correct hip action and an important part of this drill. So with two drills to the final four, the next video tackles some outstanding rhythm and load drills, another necessary ingredient for the perfect swing.